So welcome to the five hacks that you should do for every uh, funnel or pipeline that you create in Kajabi. So let's get started. I've taken just a freebie funnel. This is, uh, let's say, for your PDF, but it applies for your other funnels that uh, may have some additional pages. So the first one is that anything that's not my opt-in page or my first page, I'm going to make sure it's hidden. So how do you get to that setting? So let's go to our thank you page and I'm going to click on it. And then down in the bottom right is are the uh, detail settings. So if I click this and scroll uh, down, I can say hide from search engines. And so that hides it from just what it says from like Google, Yahoo, from finding it. And the reason you want to hide it is because this contains the download page. It might just be a simple thank you page or it may redirect to some other important information. But if you're, uh, the world can just discover this page that has the download, then they're not going to opt in. So we definitely want to hide our subsequent pages from um from uh, our search engines. Now you may want to do this for your opt-in page. And the only reason why I say may is most of the time you want this one to be discoverable. But let's say you were running a special campaign and you only wanted it available to like uh, certain subscribers or only people on your email list or what have you, then you would want to do the same thing, go to details and then hide from search engines and then only um, people with the link that you would give them would have access to this particular opt-in or particular uh, funnel that you were creating. So my second um, hack would be, let's go back to uh, the details uh, on this one because a few of our uh, hacks are actually on this page. So one of the things that we want to do is definitely change this URL. We want it to be uh, SEO friendly so that, um, let's say this was um, something about, let's say live stream, uh, I'll use what I've already have. Let's just say live stream checklist. This, you know, you might want to use a hyphen or just live stream. But nevertheless, you want it to be something that's SEO friendly, easy to um, say in a webinar or something, or easy to remember. And so you want it to be sort of SEO friendly so that your audience can um, remember it. The third one is to, we want to give it a nice name. That's definitely uh, SEO friendly for our page title and a good description. Now these might be, this page title might be something different than up here. So internally you might call this, you know, live, stream opt-in for you know group users abc whatever but down here we definitely want this to be the the seo friendly you know live stream um, hacks to grow your audience in 10 days something like that you know um, same thing for the description you want it to uh, have some seo text and be very um, informative about what um, it's going to deliver, not just what it's about, but what it's actually going to deliver, some kind of promise or a problem that it's going to solve. So our next tip, number four, is when you um, add your images that will show up in SEO, also name your images with SEO friendly names. Don't just use like, you know, screenshot ABC or image 2935 or whatever you may have used to create the image. Give this an SEO uh, name too. So by that, I mean, let me show you. So this is an image. This is uh, down here. Let's say this is, it's about a Blue Yeti, um, Nano specifically. So I'm naming this Blue Yeti, Yeti Nano. Um, image and so you want to give your images SEO friendly names too because they become searchable um, um, images are searchable too so that's a very um, um, key thing to do and the last thing in your uh, let's say in your pipelines is to add tags so by default in this uh, funnel um, one of the things that you can do let's see 
if it's here, yes, in automations, by default, most of the automations or automations that Kajabi generates will subscribe somebody to, a, to an email sequence. And what I like to do is go in and add a, another automation that adds a tag or a label about what it is that they are doing. Um, so let's say if we click add automation when this form is submitted, then we want to add a tag. Now, when we're talking about lead magnets and all um, opt-ins, I like to give mine sort of a, a, a naming convention. So I always do LM colon and then which stands for lead magnet. And this may be, let's say this was, um, what do we say? This was the live stream, whatever it was, um, checklist, right? checklist and then I would create this tag and it gets added to that person's um, account or profile and then I would save it now I have some other naming conventions but um, for right now when we're talking about um, lead magnets or opt-ins this is something I definitely do I recommend using tags um, for whatever it, it is and it'll help you when you're trying to do reporting and it'll help you when you are um, looking for things because God knows imagine six months into this maybe you have five ten twenty lead magnets you may say well I don't need that many like lead magnets well they're going to change over time and so what ends up happening and I'll show you there this is my test one so there's not a lot of stuff in here but when you go under people and you have this option of managing tags, what ends up happening is you can have like 100 tags or labels um, that may, all of them won't relate to lead magnets, but when you're looking for a lead magnet, to be able to just do LM colon will bring up, uh, it will shortlist it obviously, um, as opposed to trying to look, scroll through and look for, let's say if you just said live stream checklist and then maybe something started with um, the letter A and it was on the first page and then you had another checklist that said like video checklist and maybe you just need to see what all your lead magnets are. So it, it just helps to a uh, sorting um, convention on your part, but labeling that's going to help you when you do reporting, when you do campaigns, you'll be able to say, hey, if somebody has this this particular tag or lead magnet do X, Y, and Z, or send them this follow-up uh, sequence, or make them this special offer, or send them this special coupon, you'll be able to do things based on what they have done in the past. So those are the five hacks. So I hope you found these hacks and tips helpful, and I'll see you in another video.